Thomas Edison, the innovator, by Dominic Leonetti. Thomas Edison was born on February 11, 1847. When he was in school, his teacher thought he was very difficult to teach because he was a hyperactive child. By the age of 11, he was a very excellent and fast reader. Popular works. Edison's first invention was the electrographic vote recorder that he invented when he was 22 years old to help Congress vote more efficiently. Next up is the phonograph. The phonograph was a device that was created to record voice and play it back. Later, Edison would invent discs that would permanently record and store music and voices. <coughs> now, onto the light bulb. The light bulb is what Thomas Edison is most known for. You could ask a baby and it would say Thomas Edison because everyone knows that he has created the light bulb. The light bulb produces light, obviously, from an electric current that passes through a filament in a vacuum sealed piece of glass. Edison's motion picture was a series of photos that spun in a large circle that showed thousands of pictures moving at a rapid pace, telling a story. Also, Edison's most low-key famous invention was the magnetic ore separator. This invention would take the low-quality and lower-grade ores away, leaving the large amounts of iron ore for the workers to collect. Now, onto a phenomenal film. Thomas Edison was born in Millen, Ohio on February 11, 1847. He didn't learn to talk until he was almost four years old. In school, he often daydreamed and was labeled as mentally slow by his teacher. Because of these comments, young Edison's mother took him out of school and homeschooled him. In 1854, his family moved to Port Huron, Michigan. Edison sold candy and newspapers on trains. He became a telegraph operator after saving the daughter of a station agent from an oncoming train. He moved to Louisville, Kentucky in 1866 and became an employee of Western Union. Starting in 1872, Edison worked on the quadruplex telegraph system. It allowed telegraphs to send and receive four signals at the same time on the same wire. Edison's system wasn't a new invention, but an improvement on the duplex system created by Moses G. Farmer and Joseph Stearns. Edison's first invention was a phonograph in 1877. Many people today incorrectly associate the phonograph with a record player. Edison's device recorded sound on the cylinders and was geared as a recorder for the voice, not for recording and playing back music. It was the gramophone that recorded the discs, and became the record player that we know today. Edison did not invent the first electric light bulb. He invented the first commercially practical incandescent light. Edison bought the patent on what was probably the first invented light bulb. Later, he came across Joseph Wilson Swan, who had developed and patented a working light bulb. Edison made Swan a partner and eventually bought him and his patent out, giving him full ownership of the patent. Edison patented a system for electrical distribution in 1880 in order to capitalize on his electric lamps. Edison used direct current to power his system, which had its limitations, and when these limitations were made public, Edison launched a propaganda campaign to convince people of the superiority of direct current. This war of the current, as it was called, brought in the involvement of Nikola Tesla, an inventor and rival of Edison who had created the alternating current power generator. Alternating current eventually proved to be a better system of transmitting power. In 1888, Edison started working on inventing a motion picture camera. Edison passed on the work of creating the camera to one of his assistants. Edison himself had very little involvement in the invention. On May 20th, 1891, the kinetoscope and the kinetograph were revealed. Moving images were taken with the kinetograph and shown through a peephole on the kinetoscope. Some of the things that Edison filmed with this early motion picture camera included a man doing tricks on his single gear bike and two cats boxing with each other. One of the lesser known ideas of Edison was concrete furniture. It came from a failed attempt at making concrete houses. Edison used what was supposedly a lightweight foam concrete to manufacture various home furnishings. Edison shipped out some of his furnishings to put them on display, but they arrived broken up. This caused Edison to close down his line of concrete creations for good. Many today consider Edison to have been an atheist, but this is not true. Edison had spiritual and religious beliefs that were a mix between pantheism and deism. Thomas Edison never really invented major breakthroughs. He took credit for the inventions of others, and most of his patents were modifications on already existing ideas. Edison was, however, a very good businessman, and used his business skills to improve on current ideas instead of inventing new ones. Edison died of complications of diabetes on October 18, 1931. While there are lesser-known inventors who have done greater things than Edison and are more deserving of the praises and rewards given to him, there is no doubt that he certainly had an impact on the world. So ends the history of Thomas Edison.